Hey, it's Brock here from Rock Hill Farms. And as you can see behind me, I'm having a little bit of problems with the tires on my trailers. I'm kind of annoyed by it. And I want to show you what happened to my tires, what they look like, and the load rating on them. Maybe you guys can explain it to me a little better why they put this kind of tire on a trailer like this. And I'm gonna add a spare tire. That's another point of frustration that None of my trailers, I have four trailers, not a single one came with a spare tire. This is the last one that I'm adding one to. So I'm gonna get this lifted up, get this other tire off and show you the difference between the tire that's on it and the tires I bought. I've got two new ones, two older ones and a spare now. And I'm trying to decide whether it's better to put the newest ones on the front or the back axle. So let me get this up and then we'll take a look at it. Before anybody kills me in the comments, I'm not holding the trailer up with the tractor. I lifted it and then I've got solid double channel that goes across the whole trailer here. I put a concrete block under each side. I would have used jack stands, but my jack stands actually aren't here right now. Then I'm going to leave the tractor loader under the back and I'm going to put my actual floor jack in front of the front axle and then I've got blocks to keep it from rolling. So I think we're pretty secure. So one of the new tires is going in this spot. I'm gonna go ahead and put that new tire on and then do a comparison between my other new tire and the one I'm taking off. So when I bought my tractor, I bought this utility trailer with it. It's got the two 3,500 pound axles on it. If I figure the trailer weighs about 2,000 pounds, that means you're rated to haul 5,000 pounds on it. Fully loaded with attachments and everything, my tractor weighs close to 5,000 pounds, but it's not over. It may be 45 to 4,800. And I don't understand why I got tires that are this narrow on a trailer that's designed to haul that much weight. That does, it just doesn't make sense to me. Right behind me is what I consider more of a light duty trailer that I use for my mowing setup. And it has a wider tire. Now I know the width is not everything. It's how many plies and what the weight rating is on them. But it seems to me like I got better tires on that smaller trailer. The other thing I don't understand is it's narrow and even brand new, these tires had a strong slope up to where the weight's only being put right here. Now I bought this a little over a year ago and the first several months I never hauled my tractor and since then I haul it a couple times a week, usually 30 miles or something. So if you do the math that I might drive, even let's exaggerate and say 100 miles, for, I might have 3,000 miles on these tires and two of them were completely bald. And they're bald on the outside and then and that doesn't make sense that they'd be bald on the outside they're bald on both outsides which would make you think that these are completely squatted and it's possible i ran them a couple times low but i don't always run them low for all those miles i usually before i go anywhere i pull up to my shop and make sure my tires are aired up so i'm really frustrated that in this amount of use these tires are ruined now let's look at the ratings on them. This is a 205-75 D15. I think the D is the load rating. Again, someone who knows more about tires than me, 
feel free to explain this in the comments so that me and anyone else who watches can know a little bit more about the tires we're buying. 3,500 pound axle, load rating on the tire, 825 pounds, or 1,820 pounds at 50 PSI. This is the part that confuses me because everyone says how many plies the tires are. Like I've got 10 ply tires on my dump trailer. I was sold these tires that I have right down here that I'm getting ready to show you everything on those. I was sold those as an eight ply tire. Now this says tread plies, three nylon, sidewall plies, two nylon. So I can't tell what ply rating these really are. And so that's my first issue is, why is such a narrow tire that doesn't seem to hold up put on this trailer? My second issue is, why is it that I have four trailers and not a single one came with a spare tire? I mean, would you sell a car without a spare tire? To me, that just seems ridiculous, but it is what it is and let's move on. Okay, so this is the tire that I replaced it with. ST20575R15. Load range D. On the other side, it tells us about the plies. It's tread plies, two polyester, two steel, two nylon. Sidewall plies, two polyester. Sounds like a lot better tire, and this wasn't something I paid a lot of money for. This, I think, was an $80 tire. They told me it's an eight ply. From this description, this seems like a dramatically better tire. I can't understand. I understand you want to be the lowest pr cost provider, and I'm not even knocking this trailer manufacturer. That might be what all the manufacturers put on it. But if this is an $80 tire and it's eight ply, and it's wider, and the tread comes out to the edge, it's got a lot nicer tread. I think to sell a trailer in this class with that tire on it is pretty sad. This right here should be a minimum tire but I've got two of these tires like this that are still pretty good. And I'm gonna put two of those on one axle and two of these on the other axle. And I'm trying to decide which axle they should be on. My initial thought is that with, you know, wanting to have some tongue weight, you're gonna have more weight on that front axle. And so I think I'll put these two on the front axle. If I'm wrong on that, tell me in the comments. I can always switch them. All right, so I've got all four decent tires on. Anyway, if you have any information to share, about the numbers I read and the weight rating on these tires or what you think about why trailers come with tires like that, let me know what you think. I appreciate you taking time to watch the video. I'll put links to a couple more of our videos right here and I'll see you next time.